Welcome, everyone, to the Real Hoovians Cast, episode 855. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Live and in person. There you go. All right, so we got, uh, we, I did some Real Hoovians Cast before, so we're doing another one. Uh, they announced Missy is officially for series time. Good, good. I'm glad to, glad to see that. And let's, let's we got to do another shout out here. Katie Manning. Yes. Happy birthday, if we didn't say. I already said it before, and I say okay. it again. I even tweeted her, happy birthday, Katie Manning, which right now it's probably not her birthday anymore. But I know, know but still. But I, I already, I love her. So, yeah. Joe Grant. She, she, she was my third companion I saw, actually, because of uh, they restarted Joe, John Pertwee's era. Yeah. She's amazing, amazing woman. She's always my top favorites. So, um, yeah, so Missy's back in series. Two. I will say this much: when they when they ran, yeah, it's probably yeah. a delay. But go ahead. no, okay. I was going to say when they were going, I thought what would be kind of cool was is that somebody was keeping an eye on uh, who wanted wanted to keep an eye on the doctor and the master. So they slipped her a, like some sort of earwig, but with each person, it 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 causes different effects. So it made her the way she was. But her time in the Amazon proved to be very caustic to the little thing and dropped out, and she slowly became normal. And then when I saw her on Sarah Jane Adventures and the way they portrayed her, I thought, that was good. Yeah, I liked that. That's one of my favorites. That perfect way. It was one of my favorites because I loved it that Russell T. Davis got to write for Matt Smith's Doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, I only wish he could do that for Capaldi. If he had an episode, it would be nice. Maybe with Chibnall. Um, so we can only hope. So we're hearing that the power of the Daleks is coming into USA theaters. Yes. yes. Before the release on DVD, Blu-ray and whatever. So I think that's an awesome idea. It's, a, it's an opportunity to make money for them to use to other restorative oh, yes. processes of Missing episodes. That's, they, that's what they should do with them. And in novelization form, I read that they're going to be having the uh, our old buddy Capaldi doing some uh, more American. Uh, like I said, this is going to be novelization. These are going to be novels. Or is audios? Be, is it audios or novels? Oh, he's going to write a novel. As far as I know, it's just uh, it's just the uh, the not uh, just novel. Okay. Maybe one big thick novel. Okay. Uh, of him taking of him visiting the U.S. Oh, cool. Like, I don't, it sounds like they're going to be short stories. Hmm. I'm going to have to go, go back and look again. And we also know that he appears in class yeah. briefly in the first episode, which I'm looking forward to that. I think, is that this weekend? Was that supposed to be? I got to look. I gotta, if it's, if it's not more. this weekend, then it's the... Uh, I have to look. I have, honestly, if we talk to you, I will yeah, if you do know about it, send me the link. We'll watch it tomorrow or whatever. You know, do that. Um, but, yeah, I'm very excited that this – I know Moffat said that he's not going to go out with a bang, but that's – yeah, that, that Tardis – he, he is going to go out with a bang. make certain his time out is big. He's going to give us the kitchen sink as well, I'm pretty sure. So – um, it's probably going to be his their his Cyberman adventure. Genesis of the Cyberman. I wonder who yeah, writes that. Might, you know, if it's not going to be the last one, then it's going to be the next to the last one. I, I, if, I, if it really is a Genesis of the Cyberman episode, I'm not really sure because I haven't seen an, an article about it really. So I don't know if that's real. But if there is, that would be pretty cool. Um, so we'll see. Uh, and... I've heard that uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Nardle or Bill because I don't think Nardle's in every episode of the season of the next, you know, the series 10. So. Sorry. It is good. I mean, Nardle can go play with ducks or his leg goes somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I lost your whole what you said. It must be the Zoom. We're probably going to have to go into the Google. Okay. Um, just say, we try to repeat what you said real quick. I said, I said hopefully Nardle isn't in all of them. The, 
it's just Bill, so they can build up their relationship. Yeah, he's going to be an interference if she's there for the first time and Nardle's there. It's like, it's going to be weird, I think. But maybe not. We'll see. He's going to be, he's going to be dock blocking. Here we go. He's going to be dock blocking. Dock blocking. <laughs> I heard that she's not as bright, but that's okay. Like she's not, you know, like Clara, but she, you know, she does okay. We'll see how she does. Yeah. You don't have to be super intelligent like Clara going to his time stream and stuff. It can be whatever. See what happens. I mean, supposedly, I'm trying to figure out how they're going to do this because Capone's not going to leave. So they're going to have a huge two part finale. And then Moffat's going to go back into a Christmas special. It's like, oh, here we go. Here's my, here's my last episode. It's Christmas. And I really hope they don't do something like stupid, like Moffat appearing in the last episode on the Christmas special as a character, you know, and the doctor has to like work with him. That would be kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Like Moffat's the companion. Imagine that in the last episode. Oh, or here, here we go. Here we go. The doctor visits like one of these many, uh, um, um, uh, conventions and, uh, and Moffat's doing. <laughs> you broke up again, the Zoom. Say it quick. I said, uh, okay, basically I said, uh, funny if he arrives at one of these conventions and Moffat's at it signing autographs, and that's how he runs into Moffat. Well, maybe Moffat is, uh, he has writer's block, and he doesn't know what to do, and he bumps into the doctor, has a weird adventure, and then starts to become a famous Hollywood writer. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, here we go. And assumes Moff, uh, assumes Capaldi is actually the doctor and is trying to spin things off of him. What? Say that again? I said, funny if they set it up to where Mo- Moffat sort of has a little brain. Brain down. Oh, okay. Brain fart. Brain fart. And it's go and is so got it all planned for you. Mm. I didn't hear one word you said because it is damn Zoom. All right, we're gonna get out of this one. We'll try to recreate it for you in a Google one. All right, take care. Bye for now.